All right, everyone. Hello. How are you doing today? Um, this is a little bit of a departure from the normal Tree of Life videos. Um, but today I wanted to uh, discuss uh, some things about diet and some things I've just been seeing on some of the videos I've been watching and uh, especially out there in the truther community. Um, seems like... Um, you know, they're very, very, uh, most of them, a lot of them, very, very anti-vegan. Uh, you know, uh, they kind of interchange veganism and wokeism. And, um, you know, they refer to the, um, you know, the cabal's plan of uh, eat the bugs and, uh, you know, soy boys and, you know, hormone, uh, lacking hormones uh, testosterone, and, uh, you know, all that's true, <laughs> there's no doubt, um, they're trying to set us up that way, uh, they're, you know, they're trying to, uh, do all these things, but, um, you know, what the cabal does is that they put the answer right in front of your face, they put it right in front of your face, and in this case, that's, uh, how, how it's been done with veganism, now, when they, when you, use the term vegan, uh, you're just not being specific enough, okay? Veganism is, there's a million ways to do veganism wrong, and there's approximately one way to do it right. But, uh, you know, the vegan diet, at least for me, you know, I can't speak for everybody out there. I, maybe I have a different body type than uh, y'all out there, you know, maybe the people that are from European descent, uh, maybe your body has adjusted and you're able to tolerate eating meat products and dairy products and uh, animal, all, all animal products. But um, my body in particular thrives on um, fruit. Okay, now that is that's the uh, that's the misnomer about veganism. Most people think that when you're talking about veganism, you're talking about eating a ton of vegetables, but that is absolutely not the case. If you do a vegan diet and it's based on vegetables, you will fail because vegetables do not have enough calories in them to be able to sustain a diet on them. You know, a whole head of lettuce has 50 calories. You know, you can eat, you know, 10 tomatoes and you get 100 calories or something. You know, you just don't get enough calories eating vegetables. Uh, you can eat these huge salads or whatever. It's not going to work. Uh, you do need to eat salad, but not as the absolute main portion of your diet. The bulk, the 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 vast majority of your diet needs to be fruit for you to be able to succeed on a vegan diet because fruit, although not utterly high in calories, it has, fruit has way more calories than vegetables and you can get enough calories from eating fruit if you eat large quantities of fruit. Okay, so um, you have to, those are, those are two of the main guidelines that you need to know. You need to have uh, eat a large amount of fruit and you need to eat um, more, you know, more fruit than vegetables. And then also you need to eat an ultra low amount of fat. Um, very, very, very little fat. Uh, because if you eat too much fat, then your body is unable to process the fruit that you're eating and you end up with things like diabetes and candida. So um, your high fruit, high fruit raw diet, and it doesn't even need to be raw. I mean, raw is probably better, but if you want to eat some cooked food for your last meal, um, that's, you know, I do that. Um, and I still get away with it, at least to this point. Um, so let me just, uh, let me just, you know, preface some of this, um, you know, I've been wa watching videos from th this guy, Dr. Sean Baker, who's been doing all these videos on London Real, and you hear 
you know, people like uh, Salty Cracker and, um, it, you know, a lot of a lot of these people. And they're always just taking pot shots at vegans. But then at the same time, they get sick, you know, OK, uh, if you eat if you eat a good diet, you don't get sick. OK, um, that's not what happens. Your body is intended to be perfectly healthy all the time. OK, now I have an accompanying video here with this uh, that goes along with this video that's uh, serving as proof for my diet. And that's uh, just a workout video of me on an elliptical machine. Um, and I'm doing, um, uh, you know, cranking on an elliptical machine for half an hour, which is really less than half of the normal time that I spend on an elliptical machine every day. I've missed one workout in the last 24 years, um, zero workouts in the last 14 and uh, almost 15 years. Uh, and that was just because I was, uh, I, uh, had food poisoning one day and I just couldn't, I couldn't, you know, but anyway, my, the main point is obviously, uh, I've done 10 plus miles per day running or elliptical or, you know, the equivalent on a bike or, um, uh, an air bike or a Stairmaster or whatever kind of elliptical machine or outdoor, uh, running, um, equivalent of 10 miles minimum every single day for the last 24 years. So obviously I'm not really getting sick. Um, but, you know, I have had a vegan diet this whole time. Um, and, but it's just that you have to do the vegan diet right. You can't, you can't just say, okay, I'm vegan. And then that's the end of it because that then you're going to end up eating soy burgers and you know all kinds of junk food vegan food you know uh, uh whatever nut pates and and uh kale chips and all this other stuff you have to eat fruit okay the human being okay maybe the human being has a spiritual aspect to it um, but the human being's body is the ape body. We have the body of an ape. And apes eat fruit. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You eat what your body type specifies that you eat. Not what your, you know, uh, tongue, uh, you know, what your cravings tell you to eat. And you don't eat... Uh, you don't tell yourself that you're above the ape because you are have a spiritual aspect to you. Your spiritual aspect isn't what's doing the eating. It's not what's processing the food. It's your body. And you have an ape body. Okay, so that means that you're going to be eating majority fruit. Now, there's other things that you also have to keep in mind. You have to do, you have to know food combining. You have to, you really have to know your stuff. Uh, and uh, it, uh, other, if you do, your, di your body, your diet is pretty much foolproof because I do this diet and I don't even do it well. I'm breaking the diet all the time and I still get 99% results, okay? Um, if I really was uh, disciplined enough and I didn't eat uh, certain foods that I eat later in the day, the diet would even be better than it is. Anything that any negative aspects that I have from the uh, from eating are due to me not staying on the diet, not because the diet doesn't work. The diet works 100 percent, at least for me. You may have a different body. I'm not even I'm not even going to make those judgments. But you um, when you you know, yeah, I heard Luke Rutkowski on here uh, on uh Tim Poole, you know, making fun of vegans too, you know, but at the same time, he's, yeah, he, he, he's not, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. He, he knows what he's talking about in terms of, you know, maybe he's read a couple studies or whatever. No, there's never been a study that's been done on high fruit vegans because they'll know that that will be the end of the whole, you know, medical industry because everybody will just be healthy all the time. 
Um, if you want to watch the Fruitarian's videos, watch some of his uh, feats of endurance that he does on there. Um, in particular, in part you know, I mean, when you are eating fruit, it's pretty much as soon as you eat fruit, you're recovered. You can work out as hard as you possibly can, and then you eat some fruit and you're ready to go again, at, like an hour later. You can, you know, and so he can just run and run and run and run and run. He did uh, something where he went down to Leadville, Colorado, read the Leadville 100 at 10,000 feet. The whole thing is at 10,000 feet, ran, got lost on the course, ran an extra 10 miles, uh, still finished like in the top 10. And then uh, after a 110 mile race, flew across the country to New York City. And then like 36 hours later, he ran a marathon and won the marathon. Okay, that's how you recover on fruit. Um, so, and that's that's a, those are my workouts too. I work out pretty much at you know ninety eight to one hundred percent race pace for every just about every workout. I might take it light once a month or once every two months or something like that. But in general, I'm going all out every day for a minimum of one hour, usually more than that. And uh, I recover every day because I'm eating fruit. I eat, my breakfast is fruit, my lunch is fruit, and my, you know, my dinner, my fr the first half of my dinner is fruit. Um, so I'm usually eating about 2,500 calories of fruit before I have anything else on the day. Then I'll have a big salad. And then I might indulge in some cooked vegetables as long as they are not mucus, mucus forming. So that's kind of like another another aspect of it. So it is a little bit complicated. I've, I've been trying to uh, work on a paper to uh, describe all that. If you'd like to get that paper, um, you know, just send me, a, you know, um, put something in the comment section or something like that with your email address. And I'll, I'll be that maybe that will uh, be a way to kind of get me to write the paper. Uh, it, it's mostly written, but I just have to finish it. Um, so the key, uh, okay, so now uh, if you want to watch that video that I did, um, it's only on YouTube because it's over half an hour long. And for some reason on BitChute, I'm not able to uh, upload those shorter videos. I, there's something I'm doing wrong. I'm a Luddite. And so I'm um, just trying to figure out this tech stuff. Um, but uh, the point the main point that I'm making here is that um, the truther community is making a huge, huge mistake in panning veganism the way that they do because, um, you know, veganism is really being used as a straw man. Now, uh, obviously, you want to stay away from the bugs and the soy and all kinds of processed food, but if you can get fruit fresh, especially organic, especially right off the tree, um, you know, you will thrive as long as you keep your fat intake low. Um, you know, people ask you questions. What about, what about protein? Protein is a myth, okay? What is the name of the, what is the name of the uh, disease that you get when you have a protein deficiency? Um, well, there's one that's called Corsiacor, and then there's one that's called Marasmus, if I'm, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And the reason that you've never heard of those diseases is because nobody has them, because it's almost impossible to get a protein deficiency. If you eat uh, a salad and you eat fruit, you get plenty of protein. My main problem is that I get too much protein because I eat too many cooked vegetables. Um, protein is something you, you need very, very, very little of. Um, and it's provided in fruit. The watermelon that I eat for breakfast every day is like 5% protein, and it's also 5% fat. So I'm getting all those things. Okay, uh, I will talk more about this very soon.